we've installed the Greenbaum Security Assistant and we've got it working the way we want but we've noticed that the default install installs on port 9392 and that's a non-SSL non-secured port. What we would like to do is get the Greenbone Assistant running on port 443 using SSL. So what we have to do is we have to change the configuration on the server itself. If we look at uh, what's currently running, I'll do that as sudo, we can see that the GSAD service, which is the actual web interface for the Greenbone Assistant, is running on port 9392. So what we want to do first is we want to stop the service from running. And that service is called GSAD. And if we do a listen again, we can see that the service is no longer listed, so it's not listing on port um, 9392. Now, the first thing you need to do to enable SSL is you need to get yourself an SSL certificate. I'm not going to go over how to download and install an SSL certificate. Um, I created one at Let's Encrypt for this uh, demonstration, and I put the file into this Etsy GVM folder. And if I actually want to look at that certificate, we're going to run this SSL command. Open SSL. The command is the X509 option. We're telling it to show us the text and we're telling it to read the server.cert file. So when you type that command, it types out the certificate and it gives you some information about the certificate. Um, as you can see, this issued, uh, this certificate was issued by Let's Encrypt. Here are the valid dates for the certificate. And here is the common name that the certificate expects. So when I'm connecting to the Greenbone server, I need to connect to it with this common name, this gvm-youtube.joebeasley.org. And what I can do is I can add a host entry to my local machine just for testing. And what I'm doing is I'm adding the internal address for the GVM machine, but I'm telling it that the name is gvm-youtube.joebeasley.org because that name matches what's on the certificate. So when I open my browser and I go to this site, it's gonna go to my internal address, but then the certificates will match the site name so it won't give you an a SSL error. And if you'll remember the, um, the video we did the other day, we actually installed GPM. And it, um, it put its startup files in Etsy systemd system. Now you have to edit the file as root so that you can make changes. And we've already stopped the service, just remember that. Okay, the part that we're looking for is this start line. Now we've already changed the listen from localhost to all zeros that tells it to listen on all interfaces. Um, you would think you could just change this port to 443 and then get rid of the HTTP only, and then it would load. But that won't load correctly. Um, the reason is because when the service loads, if you've got to find a user and a group here, it's gonna run as that user. 
the problem with that is if you're using a port that's below 1024, a normal user can't bind to that port. Um, that's just the way most Linux systems work. Most Unix systems work that way also. They won't let a regular user bind to a port below 1024. So what we have to do is we have to run this service as the root user and then tell GSAD to exit and then leave the service running as a regular user. So if you go and you look at the GSAD command, there are some options that you can put in. How did I get here? Let me get out of here. I'm going to clear so you can see. If I run that GSAD with a dash dash help option, I see all the options that are available. Um, the ones that we want, uh, this drop privileges one, this is going to tell the service that when it's done loading, it's going to leave the service running as the user. We're going to specify the user as GVM. Uh, we're going to get rid of the line that says HTTP only because we're going to have it redirect the HTTP to the HTTPS. Uh, the listen address has already been changed to all zeros. We're going to change the port number to 443. We're going to use the dash R for the redirect, and we're going to have that equal port 80. So if something comes in on port 80, it's got to redirect it to port 443. Um, the other options are for the SSL private key. And the private key cannot contain a password. Um, if it does, I'm sure that it will prompt you for that password as it's booting up. So you don't want to have to type in the password. So have the key removed from, well, I'm sorry, have the password removed from the private key. And if you use a let's encrypt certificate, it's already removed. And the dash C option will tell it what the actual certificate file is. There was another option here that's called no redirect. If you leave off the dash R option, it's not listening on the port 80. The dash no direct, no redirect says you don't want to do any type of redirection. So it'll listen on port 443 only. So we're going to go back into the GSAD service file. We're going to comment out the line that says user or group. Putting a pound sign in front of it means it's commented out. And we're going to change this exec start line. So we're going to comment that out also. And I'm going to uh, cut and paste from over here. Okay, so what we're going to do for our exec start, we're going to change the listen line. That's listening on all interfaces. We're going to tell it to drop the privileges to GVM. So when the service is finished initializing and starting up, it's going to exit and leave it running as the GVM user. And now that we have this port 443 here, we've disabled this user option and group over here. That means when the service first starts, it's starting as root and then it's able to bind to port 443. Okay, we've got the dash R port option that tells it redirect from port 80. We got the K option for the key that's giving it the full path to the key and the dash C that's giving it the full path to the server cert file. Now, since we've modified the service, we need to tell system D to go in and scan for any changes. You would use the daemon reload command. And 
and that's going to tell it to scan for any changes made to the service files and reload them. So now that that's changed, we're going to restart the service. Oh, we're going to start it because we stopped it before. And if we do our ss command again, we can come up here and we can see that GSAD is listing on port 80 here. That's for the redirection. Anything coming into port 80 gets redirected to port 443. And GSAD is also listing on port 443. So when we go to our browser, if we try to go back to this 9392, it's no longer listing, so it'll fail. So what I'll do is I will type in, and it's already there. Um, I'm going to type it without the S so you can see the redirection. When I type in HTTP GVM-YouTube, it redirects and brings me up to the SSL page. And we can log in correctly. And there's the page the way we expect it. And we can look at the certificate. It says connection is secure. It says certificate is valid. And if you look at the certificate, you can see that it is the same certificate that we saw earlier. It's using the common name gbm-youtube.joebeasley.org. The validity dates are the same. So everything's working the way that it should. So that's a very quick way to get SSL set up on your server. Just remember that when you're modifying that service file, you have to comment out the user and group options so that the service starts as root. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video.